Hi, my name is Ali Shirsava from Breacher Digital. In this video, we're going to talk about how we create the transfer impedance plot of an EMC current clamp. And then later on, we're going to go to the lab and actually really measure it using a Bode 500. So um, if you consider your current clamp, you will have the uh, cable of your device under test. Let's say this is a power cable going through it and the output of the current clamp is going to the spectrum analyzer and is measuring this in volts. Somehow we have to translate what we are measuring in on, your, on our spectrum analyzer to the current that is actually going through this cable. And we do this with the aid of something called a uh, transfer impedance plot. So um, in order to create this plot, uh, we have to pass a known current through a known impedance. So let's say this is our signal. Um, we have to put it through um, 50 ohms here. Um, and then we clamp our current clamp in, in, on, this, on this cable there. So this is your current clamp. And then that is going to go to your measurement instrument, which is going to be 50 ohms. So you've got another 50 ohms there and you're sitting here and you're looking at the voltage that appears across here depending on the current that goes down here. So that is your current source. And for simplicity, let's say that you pass through a one megahertz frequency at one milliamps down through this known impedance. And then you measure what voltage appears here at one megahertz and you tabulate this, you put this on a table. Then you do it at two megahertz, three megahertz, four megahertz, all the way up to whatever frequency that you need, let's say 350 megahertz. And as a result, you end up with a table of the relationship between the current that goes through here and the voltage that appears over there. Obviously, we cannot do this with a dangly wire because the frequencies are very high, things will change, there'll be reflections and radiations and so on. And therefore, you need the calibration test fixture uh, in order to make the test repeatable. And it looks something like this. Now, I've unscrewed the top off so that we can see what's inside of the test fixture. Right? So here is that cable that is going in. And then if I take the top off, this is where the current clamp is going to sit. And then you have a 50 ohm terminator which sits at the end of their connected to ground. So effectively what is happening is a current goes going through here. This is a single cable, goes through the 50 ohm and returns via the metal chassis. And all you have to do then is you clamp your current over here and then you make a measurement. Another issue that we have got is that because the frequencies are very high, things change. The amplitude that you're injecting at one megahertz may not be the same as the one that you expect at 350 and that, therefore we have to calibrate and normalize everything before we can make a correct measurement. And uh, we are now going to go to a lab and we're going to show how this is done with the Bode 500. So um, here we are in the lab and uh, this is the test setup that we use in order to create the uh, transfer impedance plot that uh, I mentioned earlier on. Um, here is our calibration test fixture. I've actually unscrewed the top so that we can show you what's happening uh, in, uh, um, in this video. In reality, the top needs to be screwed on. The current clamp is going in the middle of the calibration test fixture. And now what's happening here is that I have got a Bode 500. It is injecting a signal through this and then it's measuring what is coming through. Um, now, Please recall that this current clamp is going to be connected to a spectrum analyzer and therefore you have to put a 50 ohm terminator on the end of this to emulate the presence of a spectrum analyzer. Um, we are talking at very high frequencies. We're going from 100 kilohertz to let's say 350 megahertz in this particular case and there's bound to be some anomalies. So the first thing that we have to do is normalize our measurement. At the moment, if I make a measurement on my Bode 500, you will see that as the frequency goes higher, here you have got uh, the, the measurement um, is, not, is not quite correct and we need to normalize it. So I go here and I go to uh, uh, user range and I will first do a calibration. Let me put this back on. In reality, you should screw it back, but for this measurement, it's okay. We just leave it like so and we do a calibration and you will see that the instrument 
will take into account the anom anomalies and make it a flat line. So now what I can do is I can swap these two around, inject a signal and see what is being measured off the actual clamp. So let me take this off. This goes to the output of the current clamp. And of course we need a 50 ohm terminator on this end so that everything is standardized by 50 ohms. And there you go. Now you can see the familiar shape of the um, uh, transfer impedance. This little kink here is actually because this is, uh, this is not screwed on. If I screw it on, it, it, will, it will disappear. Um, this is measured in uh, DBO, uh, I beg your pardon, um, in, in DBs. Uh, and uh, that is what the manufacturer will provide for you. And then you can use that in order to estimate the cable current.